It's a world full of dreams and imagination. Wide eye, wide eye, watching from so high, so all the forest can be safe and sound. It's bedtime. Now off you go. But, Dad! No! You've got your cuddly toy and your mug of cocoa. What more do you want? I want a story. Look! I've already told you I don't know any stories. Well, make one up. Go on, Dad. Once upon a time. No. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a little thing with legs. Black. Yeah, the thing, not the legs. Though they might have been black too, I don't know. And. <clears throat> what sort of thing? Well, I don't know. And. Oh, you want a story? Well, come on then, I'll give you a story. My idea, Dad. <laughs> and what big teeth you have, Grandma. All the better to gobble you up. But before the big bad wolf could pounce on Little Red Riding Hood, her father, the woodcutter, burst in. You're not Grandma, he cried. You're the big bad wolf. And he chased him out of Grandma's house as fast as he could. The big bad wolf was never seen again. And Little Red Riding Hood lived happily ever after. You! Oh. Night, night, Little Hoot. Time to go to sleep now. There. You've heard a story. Happy now? Hmm, great story. Dad, what are we doing? Where are we going? What are we... <laughs> We're going to give those toads a bit of a <clears throat> surprise, aren't we? All oh, right. Why? Because we're Komodos! Because that's Hello, what... Hello, little... No. Little Hoot, did you hear something then? Uh, no. Hello, Little Hoot. Hello, Flea. You all ready? You bet. Uh, you sure your grandma doesn't mind us coming along too? No, uh, she loves a bit of a party. Uh, she always says when we go to visit her, and don't forget to bring your little friends next time. And you're our friends, aren't you? Yes, we are. Do you like chocolate chip biscuits? Oh, yes. Grandma makes the best chocolate chip biscuits in the world. All right, Dad. Are we going to pounce now? Are you, Dad? No. Slight change of plan. <laughs> you remember last night when Wide Eye told that story? Well, it's given me an idea. Right. So what are we going to do, Dad? I? You are going to go home. Oh! This is a plan for just one person. Just one very cunning, very sly, very <laughs> wicked person. <laughs> well, off you go. Home. Go on. I have to hurry if I'm going to beat them to grandma's. <laughs> The little toadlets will be thirsty when they get here. And they said they were going to bring their friends too. Better get down my big teapot. Would you like a hand with that? Why, thank you, Mr. Komodo. Wily Komodo. Oh. oh. What are you doing here? Oh, just come to pay my respects. And put you in the teapot! <laughs> <laughs> now, all I have to do is wait. Come to Uncle Wiley, my plump little toadies. 
Or should I say, <laughs> a grandma? Why not? <laughs> All that hurrying's rather knocked the stuffing out of me. Think I'll rest my eyes for a moment or... Here we are! Grandma's house! Oh, she's remembered the chopped chip biscuits. Shh! Grandma's asleep. Oh, look! Bet she was going to make a pot of tea for us. Well, let's give her a nice surprise. And make one for her. Good idea. <laughs> oh, Grandma. What a noise. Uh, I didn't know that Grandma snored. Well, well that as does. <laughs> cool. God, it's heavier than I thought. Give us a hand, little O. <laughs> I can give you a wing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! Oh, a sneezing teapot. <laughs> it's you! Please, Mr. Komodo, don't... Oh, hello. Grandma? But if that's our grandma, who's that? It's Wiley Komodo. Yes, and he put me in a teapot. He did what? He can't do that. Come on, let's give him what for. Hang on, hang on. He's a bit bigger than us. Uh, so, what do we do? Grandma, have you made those chopped chip biscuits yet? Well, no. My little toadlets like to help. Don't you, dearies? Well, how about we make some now? Some special ones. And Wiley can have some when he wakes up. Pepper, good. Chilli powder, ooh-hoo! Red hot sauce, <laughs> And curry paste, extra hot! <laughs> <laughs> A bit more pepper, perhaps. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that smells hot! Chuck mm, chips, or nice dried chilies. I think Wiley might like a nice hot cup of tea, too. <laughs> Those little perishers should be here at any... Hello, Grandma. Ah, uh, oh, here already, eh? Grandma, what's happened to your voice? What? Oh, uh, <coughs> nothing. Nothing. Just a little <coughs> frog in my throat. <laughs> Must have um, <coughs> dropped off. Well, you've woken just in time for a chopped chip biscuit, Grandma. We baked them specially for you. You shouldn't have. Too kind. Uh, but aren't you going to have one too? Oh, no. After you, we insist. <laughs> what nice manners your little friend has. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Hot! Ah, my mouth! It's on fire! Ah! Oh, dear. Cup of tea, perhaps? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, anything. <laughs> Ah, that's worse! Oh, water! Get me some water! There's a pond out there! <laughs> Did I? Oh dear, 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 poor wife. Well, little Hoot, I must say that wasn't a very nice thing you did today. Mind you, I should think Wiley's learned his lesson. <laughs> tell us a story, Dad. Go on. Dad! Tell no! Us. That's what got me into all that trouble in the first place. No more stories. Not now. Not never. Deep in the forest, what a magical place. Round every corner. It's a world full of dreams and imagination. Why?